Hello all. Again, Fanta BH here or BA Electronic about what we talking today. This is operating manual, we will not watch in that. This is the instrument we are going to see today. This is a Snuckle SK505A insulation tester giga ohm meter this is nice spec what we have here uh, this is not so cheap bug material like other instruments see, this is more like a tough textile bug believe me it's very nice feeling and also you have uh, this wrap wrist wrap so you can carry it easy this is charger for uh, lithium polymer batteries which are inside later about this these are test leads and we have two times red test probes and <laughs> look at it you can feel it it's real silicone not previously imitation of silicone this is silicone so nice from uh, snake oil with them we have cut three maximum 1000 volts three time crocodile clumps which can be attached to test leads so so let's see first how it handles usual ohm meter let's see what it say for itself zero 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 one ohm let's see what it say for zero one ohm for real zero two so actually it counts it leads so zero 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 six so okay one ohm going to be one point one i can bet yeah so it always counting uh test leads but it uh, can measure zero one ohm as zero two if you discount test leads which are zero one you get zero one ohm so it's okay on low resistance it's okay uh, 100 kilo ohm it's okay one mega ohm quite nice 10 mega ohms is highest i have and I had no doubt that it will measure 10 mega ohms properly. So, resistance is quite okay. Capacitance, nanofarads. Let's see what is lowest. I can bet it will not measure 20 picofarad. It measures something, but uh, as you can see, let's see. Yeah, it measures. It measures, so it's okay. Let's see this. First, I always first discharge. Two, two, two. Nice. Thank you, Shakel. It's okay. So, uh, capacitance. It's okay, it measures capacitance. Continuity. Diode. Let's see. Now, oh, fine. Nice. 2.7 volts. I think this instrument I, I read somewhere in manual. Forward voltage of uh, diodes uh, can be tested up to 3.2 volts, so it's nice. AC. Hmm. Let me try that one hand. Always. Yep. High voltage, true RMS, uh, 200, 235 volts, but nowhere to see hers. Let's test uh, what what is range of uh, head. 10 kilohertz at the moment. 9.999, so 10 kilohertz 
can be tested. Let me go up with frequency 20. Nice, 30 kilohertz. It's a little off, believe me. Uh, my signal generator is quite nice and precise. So 40. Ah, we find the limit. 28 kilohertz. 30 kilohertz, it looks like limit. Let me see, 31. No, look at it. It go <laughs> drop it to 15 kilohertz. So 30 is uh, maximum. 25. Yep. 28, what we have seen, uh, 28 should be maximum, yeah, now it's showing 28 and I sending 28 s sine wave to the, uh, to the instrument, however, uh, it indicating high voltage, it's not, it's 5 volts peak to peak from signal generator, so it's crazy, however, uh, 28 kilohertz is maximum. It cannot measure current. How we do? I will just use uh, reference voltage. 2.5 volt. Exactly 2.5. 5 volt. 7.5. It do the job. Uh, I have no doubt about that. 10 volts. It's okay. Um, you have uh, three connectors for insulation. Let's switch to off now. This is red line. This is earth. And we have guard. I will explain later when you're using guard. But now we will uh, test this instrument itself so always you remember that how I do there we go direct to 1000 volt so testing 1000 volts it always says uh, if it show less than 20 giga ohms it's something is wrong However, if it says higher than 20 giga ohms, it, uh, it means uh, there is no leakage. It's always good to do this with screwdrivers, you see. No leakage. Look at it. No leakage. So it's okay. For testing propose. <coughs> you can uh, press time 15 seconds for example it will continuously test after pressing test button for 15 seconds uh, you can select between uh, 15 30 seconds 1 minute or 10 minutes period time for testing good to know that these tweezers should uh, hold high voltage as I remember 1000 volts let's see for example this is ok on 100 volts let's go to 215 this is leakage as far as I know. Let's go to 1000. Let's see what it say. Wow. 4 giga ohm. So, uh, 20 giga ohm is maximum on this test. And uh, if it is marked something like uh, higher than 20 giga ohm, that is uh, good. This test telling you that these tweezers cannot hold uh, cannot hold 
1000 volts but what I wanna uh, to test to see all ranges is uh, what what they say this is another test lead from uh, so on 100 volt 2 giga ohm on 50 volts 1 giga ohm higher than 1 that means no leakage on 215 higher than 5 giga ohm 10 giga ohm going to be here higher than 10 yep and 20 giga ohms on 1000 volts yep and <laughs> this cable of course it's 1000 volts so these are two batteries which are used uh, to power on this device that has lithium polymer batteries lithium polymer batteries uh, 8 milli 800 milliampere hours 3.7 volts official uh, marking is uh, 14 500 lithium polymer battery now this is the charger I plug it in charger to my PC. Now these are springs are very weak. Try to catch to make them I tried so much so hard. Let me try up like this. Okay, this one managed to make contact and it charging, but look at how tricky it is. If I move it, it's the end. Look at charger. If you manage to charge these batteries, these cells with this charger. Okay, I managed to catch this. Look at this. This is joke. But when I take big clip a cell, look at it, even there we go. So it's very hard to make contact to charge battery actually. Let me use this charger a little. Okay. Instantly detected. Instantly detected. That is how it should be. Not guard. When you have two wires cable with shield around you use guard. Guard on shield and two wires on line and earth. That is when you're using guard. I don't have any cable like that at this moment. It's very nice instrument. Truly it's very nice instrument. Only bad things with this instrument in this charger. Thank you for watching. Full recommend my recommendation for this instrument better than Arning MH15. But whoever uh, already got Arning MH15, you do not need to buy this one. It's not so much better. And thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, dislike, whatever you want. See you with next video.